Do you want to know how to build a super simple chunk loader for Minecraft 1.16? Well, I'm going to show you how to. So here it is right now. The item list will be in the description below, so you can go check that out. And I've also got some cards that will pop up in the right corner that will show you different farms that you can use with this chunk loader, as a chunk loader is nothing without its farms. So, if you have any questions as well, go into the YouTube comment section and ask them right there. You can also ask them on Discord too. I'm more likely to be able to answer them on Discord, so it's advised doing it there first, in the actual YouTube comment section. So I'm going to get on with the tutorial now. Make sure you have your items ready. First of all, you're going to need your hoppers, and you're going to need to build a nether portal. So make sure this nether portal is in a good area near all your farms. So now get your hopper and place it across here. So have it underneath this part of the nether portal here. Now get some blocks, place it up here. Now I'm going to get some rail, put it in my other parts, didn't have enough room. And just place it across here. Get some hopper minecarts, place them like that. Perfect. Now get your droppers, place them up here like that, you need all four of them. And then you're going to need a comparator, place it like that, a block, a redstone torch, and an observer. We well, need two observers actually. So I'm going to place the redstone lamp in first, and then the other observer so it doesn't trigger. So now this is your chunk loader, the first part of it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to place some blocks up here, like that. Just because why not, you know, it saves a bit of time. Now get your flint and steel, light the portal go on to the other side. Now to stop this portal from getting a bit annoying, just break it for now. You're going to relight it in a minute. And now we're going to build the other one. So now we're building it over here, so make sure to place a block here. Hopper, hopper, again. Now with this one, as it's pretty much underground, you don't need to have the blocks across here. You can just place the hopper minecarts in like this, and these blocks should be fine. So now we're going to place some droppers in. Now with this one it's quite good because it doesn't matter what side you build it on. Some you, it do, you do have to choose a certain side to build it on. So now I'm going to get my comparator, place it in like that. Get a block, redstone torch, observer, a redstone lamp again, and a observer. So now you should have this set up here. Now close this all up. Make sure it's all closed off. If you're on a server you and there's no like land claims and the never or anything, then make sure that you kind of hide this away because you're probably gonna get grief as breaking it. Even though it's quite a low chance of that happening. So now just close it off, light the portal and go through. Now you're onto your overworld one. Now just cover this up as well and have it like this. And that's your chunk loader finished. So now to trigger it, you need to put a block in here, or an item, any item you want, I'm going to put rail. And so that's your chunk loader done. Now you should hear the droppers working. So when you hear, the, if you see this redstone lamp going on and off, that means your chunk loader's working, which is good. So that's your chunk loader done. Now on to what you're going to use this for. So you're going to want to build farms around it, so you could have like iron farms, a melon and pumpkin farm, or any other farm similar to that. You could have a villager based carrot farm, whatever sort of farm you want. And what's good about this is if you're on the server, this will run 24 7, so you'll get like 24 hours worth of iron in a day. So, which is crazy really. So, you could get like tons and tons and tons of stacks of iron, like in a day or something just because of this chunk loader and this really this sort of chunk loader works best on the server if you're on a single player world it, you can build it but there's not really too much point as your single player server no not server single player world won't be running 24 7 so it's still worth it building it on a noble survival world but it's better for server this is more aimed towards the server now this does cause a tiny bit of lag on the server but if the server has a lot of RAM then you should be fine and also if the server is just not laggy at all then like the Hermitcraft server or something like that then it should be fine 
So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to, you can subscribe. I really don't mind, because I do this mostly for fun. Because I enjoy building with redstone, making farms, and stuff like that. And also making these videos. I kind of enjoy them quite a lot, and it's my hobby at the moment. And also, if you want to, you can leave a like to show that I'm doing well in a way. So if you want to say it, show your appreciation for my video or something, or you just want to say that my video is good, then leave a like. If my video is not so good, or if there's something wrong with it, then please leave a comment and tell me what's wrong with it, because I'll make sure to fix it for next time. So, I'll see you in the next video. Bye!